The American Red Cross honored a lifelong Detroiter for her decades of service. She just celebrated the century mark and is part of what's known as the greatest generation. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham got the opportunity to speak with her today. At 100 years old, I think it's fair to say Doris Adler has seen more than most, and you might consider her living history, having witnessed some of our country's most prolific moments and served in the process. This is a treasure trove. Yes, it is. With the help of her scrapbook filled with photos from the 1940s, Doris Adler took us all on a walk down memory lane. I haven't looked at this book in a long time. A collection of memories illustrates her two-year tour in Japan. The American Red Cross hired her in August 1945 to serve there as a Red Cross girl. So your monthly salary was a mere $150. <laughs> well, that was a lot at that time. That time immediately followed the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I went with hate the way we now feel with Russia, and I, I was not anxious to go there at all. But with time, Adler says those feelings changed, as she and other Red Cross girls worked at the Bankers Club, making sure American soldiers had a place to go off base for recreation and where they could feel at home, providing donuts and coffee, pool tables, ping pong, and also taking them on tours in parts of Japan. It was a very wonderful time for us because we, we were doing what we thought was so important. But of all the experiences the 100-year-old remembers most... Just a change in my feelings towards the people first because I really... I really did go uh, thinking that it was so terrible that, that we were there and what the Japanese had done to us mm -hmm. was just... And then, then you came across young kids like this that had just gone through the war. The local people and a culture she grew fond of. For Atler's service in Japan, then Germany, and back home here in the U.S., Mary Lynn Foster, the regional CEO of the Red Cross in Michigan, honored Adler on the organization's behalf, presenting her with several mementos, including a plaque. Bestowed Thank upon you, you today for your uh, just wonderful service with our esteem, gratitude. And Thank you very, very much. That's lovely. The lifelong Detroiter now adds the items to her collection of memories tied to history she lived through that many will only read about. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.